the last video we did here was the robbery. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is our serious conversation couch. This is it. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome back, you guys. Mm -hmm. This is a fun announcement for us. Yes. And I made us great helms to celebrate. And as you can obviously tell by the title, we are moving. We're moving. Again. And a lot of y'all guessed it from us doing the house tour recently. And some of y'all are freaks and knew a few months back because you saw our house on Zillow. Mm -hmm. A little creepy. A little creepy. But it's okay. No surprise on this Public. day and age of the internet. Public <laughs> information. People are nosy. Um, but we are moving. Yes. And we have a whole backstory. Whole backstory. Uh, it's been a whirlwind of events the past five, five months. It's this whole process started five months Since ago. Since July. Uh, since June. Since yeah. June. So it's been a been a crazy ride and we'll just give you the kind of the lowdown of the full story. And why we're moving, what is going on. What's happening, what the deal is. And yeah. And we technically have to be out of this house in five days. Five days. We're moving in four. Yeah. So it's life stressful. is about to change. I know. Not ideal to do right before the holidays, but here we are nonetheless. Here we are. So we do you want to get started? Okay. So. Let's start from the beginning. You can come lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so we moved to Nashville. If you guys are, are new here um, or unfamiliar with our story, we moved to Nashville coming up on two years. So in January, it'll be two years. So we've almost been here for two years. This is our first house here, yep. and we love it. It's a, a new build. There was one previous owner before we moved into it. It was, you know, our dream house. So pretty. We've loved it. Felt so comfortable in here. We love this house. And it's great. It's like when we bought it, it was like, this is our dream home. We love it. So comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to soon realize like how comfortable it actually was. Definitely. And we've been realizing that the past like few months when we realized we were moving, um, just how comfortable we feel here. Yes. And uh, not having seller's remorse at all by any means, but our life and our lifestyle and everything is going to change. Totally. Here in five days. So this originally all started, we were really content. We've always liked this house. Um, but when we spent our first, or our second summer here in Nashville mm -hmm. this past summer, we were like, wow, it is really hot here. And we need to think about maybe putting in a pool into our backyard or coming up with a solution yeah. because we were going to like a pool club that we bought a membership to. We were going like a couple times a week because it was so hot. The, the, we the Soho like, House. Yes. We were going to the Soho House a lot to go swimming. Just during the summer, it was hot here. Not as bad as Texas um, in terms of heat, but it was hot and it's, you know, we wanted a pool. Yeah. Okay, so when it came time to look at building a pool, I, there's just a, something in me that was like a gut feeling. Like, I just don't know if this is the house that I want to invest in the, the yard yeah, and the that pool much money. at this moment. Just because I know Hunter and I, you know, we love to move around. We love uh projects and doing different things to different houses and i just knew that I, I was like i don't know if we're gonna end up staying here like for more than a couple of years yeah, i could just spend, see us moving you want to spend three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars on a pool because that's how much they supposed to cost these days exactly um and then only be here for like another year or two because we have a lot of other plans in mind that we yeah. want to achieve and do over the next five years or so mm -hmm. and so it's like do we want to do that like maybe we're exploring the options and then we also kind of had the idea of like, let's go look See what around else is out there. at other houses in Nashville that have pools and yes. want to either get inspo of what we could build here. Yeah. Or just see like what the pools are like and just see different options. Yeah, we're like, let's just dabble, see what's feeling good. There's no rush, no pressure. Let's just explore. So we were out one day looking at some places. We looked at two houses yeah we were just like, like nearby we, we called our agent we're like let's go look at these two houses yeah one of them we were like oh this is a really nice pool this could be a good setup we kind of like it we didn't like the house um and the second house we walked in and we were like <laughs> our jaws <laughs> dropped and i remember i was we were walking through the house and i kept hearing julia say like shit 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 like she yeah. was like we were like liking the house so much that we, we were like, like spiritually we connected to, to the house yeah um, everything about it felt right. We are like, this house is really cool. It was old, had a lot of character. It was just what we are looking for. And something we're lacking in this house is character. Because it's such a new build, we were like, we, it's so nice and so new and everything's so beautiful. We were just 
feeling the need for that. Yeah. And I think we found that in that house. Definitely. I think that we have we lived in two new builds now and Hunter and I love interiors and we love old things and I think like at some point in our home journey we really want a historic house or something yeah. that is older. So y'all know, know we love Europe and Europe yeah. also is what really gives us our desire and inspo for more of that character. Old feel. architecture yeah, yeah. and just character, you know, like a little soul. So yeah. um we were like, shoot, oh my gosh, we love this house. And we and it had a pool. It was like everything we everything we needed. And it was similar size. It could house all of our current yep. furniture, like everything. It was it was perfect situation. It was so cute. So we went home that day and we're like We were like, what are, are, we, are we like should we move? Like are, are we moving? crazy? We've like only not even been here like two years. Like is this like so unnecessary? And this you know, was also this. in Nashville. I think I said that, but yeah. just to set this Scene. This is in Nashville. Maybe like 10 minutes away from our yeah. current house, which is Pretty also close. ridiculous. But we were like, we can, we don't have any kids yet. Like, should we do it? So we put an offer in on this house. We went under contract. That day we went, or like the day we offered, we went under contract, but we offered like a week later. We thought about it for a week. We went back yeah. like one or two more times mm -hmm. and we're like, all right, let's do it. You know us, we like to like do things sporadically yeah. and like live on the edge. We're like, let's just do it. We're going to go for it. If it doesn't work out, not meant to be. So we put an offer in, got it under contract, and it was contingent upon this our current home selling, selling. Which we're like, all right, yeah, the market's great right now. We'll sell this house super And it fast. was at the time. Yeah. And so we went under contract. The next day we listed this house. This was yeah. back like the end of June or early July. Uh -huh. And it went under contract a week later. Yes. And we're like, this is perfect, like this is amazing. Done. We're under contract like, for like a great amount. Yep. Uh, the buyer wanted like half of our furniture. We yep. were like, this is great. Let's just like make it easy. Only move half of our furniture, decorate a new house, all kinds of stuff. Perfect. We're like, it's great. It's really coming yeah. together. Okay, so fast forward three weeks. The or a, buyer. A week later, the stock market dropped. Yes. Um, and the economy was kind of like shaky. This is when the real estate market totally really took turned. A turn. Okay. Um, so not good timing to have your house on the market, so but here we are. A week after we got under contract, the market turned, the real estate market shifted, and two weeks later our buyer pulled out because they invest a lot in stocks and a lot of their income was there and they got nervous and they were like this is just not the right time for us to be buying a house so we were like shit okay we've literally had our house on the market for three weeks under this contract contract and now everything has shifted and now we don't have a contract and real quick one thing we didn't say a piece of context is that the new house we were buying it was contingent upon us selling our house in 30 days so yeah a week or maybe like five days of it being on the market, it went under contract and it was under contract for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And so when she pulled out, we had like five more days left to sell our house in order to make the new house work out. Yes. Like it was overlapped. Yeah. So she, so they, we kind of got in a really bad situation. The new house sellers gave us a 15 day extension. Yes. Which was really nice. And we, we had like five or six offers on the house. Yes. But wasn't for the right amount of money. Wasn't we were for the right amount, for. but it was also because the market was shifting. So people were like, I don't want to spend like what it might be worth now because things are changing, whatever. Yeah. It was um, weird. so those 15 days went by and the contract on the new house fell through. Yes. And which we were like, we were okay with. We, we were, were like, like you know we're what? trusting. Like once we get a contract on our house, we can go back and re offer. We'll go on back. The, the market shifted. Maybe they won't sell it in time, whatever. Yeah. So another week and a half went by, I think. Yes. Or two weeks went by. We got our house under contract. Yeah. Another good situation. And that day, we went back to the new house and we're like, all right, we're ready. Like, our house is under contract. We're good to go. And, and they like, got, we got a another offer today. Offer on their house today, <laughs> that day that they accepted. The and house then, is gone, basically. So <laughs> we're like, shit. <laughs> the reason we were moving was for this house. And that house then went under contract that same day that we got ours under contract. So now we have ours under contract and we're like- And we have no house, we have no house. to move to. And, and so it really kind of gave us a perspective of like, okay, we have some options here. Yes. We can pursue a variety of different things. We don't even have to live in Nashville anymore. Like, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to yeah. Montauk? Do we still want to wanna move? Buy like, a farm in Pennsylvania. Do we, like, we have this dream of moving to Europe. Like, do we want to just to jump to Europe for a few years? Um, yep. we also 
when we were under contract on the new house, we were like, you know what, we love this house, this new house so much, we'll probably live here for two or three years and eventually buy a farm at some point. Yeah. Stay in Nashville, have like the farm life. So when it fell out of contract, we're like, well, do we even, like, we love animals and we've been traveling quite a lot. Do we want to get a farm? Do we want to actually just move to Europe and do something there? Like, we, we were just Are we throwing out different ideas. Yeah. And we were kind of like, this is weird because we really thought that was the house that was meant for us. So when it didn't work out, we were a little thrown off. But mm -hmm. we were like, we know this is like a sign from God. Like it's not meant to be for whatever reason. Yeah. But we were never it's confusing. Sad. It was no. it was confusing. We were like, man, yeah. like, are we, we like listening correctly? Like yeah. we're not sure. And we and... multiple times even considered just backing out of the, the contract on our current house. Yeah. We were like, you know what? Maybe we're just meant to stay here. Like let's just do that. Totally. So we were throwing that out there. Like but we, we were didn't just trying to figure want to do out. that to the new buyers because they're like a family and they have multiple kids yeah. and uh, we want them to they, i knew they were excited about we it. were entertaining it was it was an option yeah you know it was an option just like everything else was an option so totally. we were throwing out a ton of different ideas we looked at a few more houses and put some offers in some houses that we thought were like this is the right yes, house also we had like, another one perfect. we were like love it oh my god this one is way better than the last one we were and like, that, we're so lucky we didn't get the other one because this is meant to be yeah we're like thank god we didn't get the other one because we like this new one better like yeah. this is perfect we couldn't come to an agreement on the new one no nope. and so that fell through and so and we, were, was... we were back to square one <laughs> yeah still selling our house and didn't know where we were gonna go yeah and we had 10 days left 10 days left to find something in and order. at this point i'm like crying every day because i'm like this is i mean this has gone on for like months and just like the dragging out mm -hmm. of like the contracts and the offers and the negotiation and it's just so much of an emotion emotional roller coaster <laughs> because it's your actual home and like where you live and hunter's tough and was just like it's fine we got it but i was just like where are we gonna move like i don't know it's so stupid should we just stop but at the yeah. same time i think i knew deep down like we were really ready for like a change and just like wanted some variety so i was like trying to stick through Anyways. yeah and while we were looking at the other houses that we we're maybe gonna buy we we're also looking at renovation projects we we're like you know we could also yeah buy a renovation property and live in that and renovate it and sell that to buy us more time and just give us like something temporary to live in while we're renovating sell that make a profit use that as an investment and then go somewhere else at that point in time but um we were just i mean we were looking at everything we were everything looking at, we were looking at places in europe that we might want to live we were looking in france and paris we were just like looking all over and trying to figure out a plan make a plan and we were feeling really spontaneous i know you we were, were like sad but you were like let's go let's I was do just something let's felt go somewhere. unsteady a little um we we're looking at like vacation homes so we're like you know what maybe we just buy a vacation home somewhere like in montauk or in florida yeah. and live there to buy us time to figure out where we want to live and then we'll have this vacation home that we can always come back to so many ideas so many, were options. Out. So many options and it felt nice we were very fortunate and we feel very fortunate that we had had the options totally we were trying to figure things out so we finally, finally figured landed it all out. on a solution mm -hmm. and we're, we're so excited for it we're so excited about it um it's gonna be a totally new adventure mm -hmm. and super like fun different than anything we've ever done way better than what we would have done had in the first place yeah had in the first place and the second place like everything lined up so perfectly and all the doors that were closed all the no's were, led to this yeah it was like perfect for what ended up happening and what we're pursuing. We're so, so, so excited. Yes. But you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to the next video to figure out where we're going and what the new situation is. But as you guys know, we're gonna take you along for the full adventure for moving every single detail. Um, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned. What the plan is, where we're going, yeah. what we're doing, what country we may be living in what state we may be living in all those questions will be answered in the next video here in a couple days yeah but we are so stoked for what's taking place so excited. like so excited there's so much joy and a lot of y'all even on instagram have been like joy looks so happy lately yeah and we both are so happy this plan we just is, like change and variety this plan and... is so fun yeah and we can't wait 
I think it's gonna be really fun. We can't wait to experience it. We also can't wait to share to it with share. you guys. Yeah, totally. I think you guys are gonna love it. So yeah. Um, anyways, put your guesses down below. I want to see what you guys think. Where do you think we're going? What do you think the plan is? Uh, sky's the limit over here. So let us know your thoughts yeah. and we will be doing our reveal in the next few days. See you soon. Okay, bye. Yes.